Hi guys! So today I am going to teach you six different fabric manipulations. Here's the yo-yo. It's really simple to make. You can do whatever you want with it. Manipulate it. Make it bigger. Make it smaller. Use satin. Use organza. Yo-yos will look very different depending on what kind of fabric you use. It's so simple. A lot of designers really, really like yo-yos. Um, it makes a t-shirt or a tank top into a beautiful blouse. And it's the simplest out of all six flowers. And you, if you cannot make anything else, you can definitely make a yo-yo. The second one is going to be a simple gathered flower. Basically, you're just going to use a strip of fabric, gather it together. At the end, we're going to scorch the fabric and it's going to give it a very nice petal. Um, it's very pretty and I'm always a fan of texture when it comes to fabric manipulation. The third one I really like is just a simple poofy organza flower. You're, you're going to use about 10 pieces of fabric to make one little flower, but it's the most easiest technique that I could show you. I'm actually going to teach you two roses. The first one's going to be a flat rose and then the second one's going to be a rose that's a little bit more three-dimensional. Um, it gives you a different effect depending on what you're trying to do with them. And basically if you're able to master both of them, you're going to have endless amount of possibilities to do whatever you want with your clothing. The very last flower I'm going to teach you is actually this. This is more so fabric origami than anything. Um, if you want, there's actually a link in the description box for a book on how to make these kind of flowers. There's endless amounts of shapes and foldings and ways you could do this, but uh, I'm going to teach you the most simplest way that I know how. Okay, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Um, please absorb and learn as much as you can, and I will see you later. And I think Gelato is having a great time in this video, as you can tell. In this video, I will show you three easiest flowers to make. We're going to make the yo-yo, the gathered scorched flower, and the puffy organza flower. There are pre-noted timestamps, so if you want to skip to any of these, you can always go to that specific time. Also, don't forget to check out part 2 of this video. Okay, so let's start with the yo-yo. Face your fabric of choice right side down. Use a lid or something circular to trace around it. Grab your fabric shears and cut around the circle. Next, fold about one-fourth of an inch of the edge inwards and sew a straight stitch as close as you can to the fold. Notice how my stitches are not far from the edge. Grab the excess thread that was left behind from sewing and start gathering the stitches. You should see a pouch forming as you pull on both threads. Once you can no longer pull any more on the thread, secure your stitch and flatten out the yo-yo. Yo-yo should be your go-to manipulation. It can be used as a decor or even as a base for any project. Check out these awesome creations and work your yo-yos into your creativity. For the gathered flower, cut out a strip of fabric about 1 to 2 inches wide and approximately 15 inches long. Start stitching along the edge of the strip and gather as you go. If you pull on your thread, it should all come together and take shape of a flower. When it comes to the end, snip off the excess fabric and finish up the stitch, and gather and attach the two straight ends together. Now don't forget to secure the stitch and snip off the thread. Use a lighter or a little candle to slightly scorch the end of the fabric. Not only will scorching give it texture, but it will also protect it from fraying as well. 
The most popular way to use this type of flowers is in accessories, and this fortune will really give it a lot of detail in hairpins, in little rings, and even in bracelets. To create a puffy organza flower, cut out 6 3x3 three three inch squares. Of course, it doesn't have to be exact. Now lay 6 of them on top of each other. Use a pin to secure the fabrics together. Now with your fabric shears, cut out the circle from the square. Repeat the previous steps on the larger square. Flower petals are never uniform, so a different size will give it shape. These squares are about 4 by 4 inches. Since it is the base, you'll only need 4 of them instead of 6. Cut out slits into the small circle. You do have options to cut out triangular petals, round petals, it's really up to you. And just repeat the same method to the larger circle. Thread your needle and insert it into the center of the large flower. Now do the same thing to the smaller flower. At this point, you should remove the pins. Now that the pieces are on the thread, start rotating it around the thread to spread the flowers out. Next, fold the flowers in half and create three stitches to hold it in place. Let go the flower and create a fold perpendicular to the first fold and give it another three stitches. This gives the flower dimension and the ability to puff up. So remember to secure the stitch and fluff it up a bit. These flowers are so delicate and they can look so real if you're good with your fabric selection. They will also make great wedding decor as well. 